Hey guys, it's Kettle of Death here. Hey, happy day. And what you're looking at is the emulator PCSX2. It is a PlayStation 2 emulator. And some of you have already asked, Kristen, what are your settings? So I'm going to give those settings to you. One thing to notice, and I'm going to say upfront as disclaimers, I have a very high-end computer, which is basically able to tackle anything on this emulator. So I have really nice settings, which may or may not work for you, depending on your computer. The first thing I'm going to do is go to config emulation settings. For the first tab, I have recompiler, recompiler, chop zero, and none for the clamping mode. I'm going to try to go kind of fast, but read these out as I go for people that like that. Some people like to hear as they go along because it makes it easier. But if you feel that I'm going so too fast, pause and that's all I have to say is just pause the video then continue on. For the videos tab, I have micro view recompiler, micro view recompiler, chop zero, and none for the clamping mode. For the GS tab, I have all of this unchecked. The only thing that I actually have bulleted, if you want to call it that, is disabled default under frame skipping. You can actually turn this on if you want, just toy with your emulator, see how your game runs, but I have it disabled. For the GS window, I have aspect ratio set to fit to window slash screen. You can choose standard 4x3, which is like a square aspect ratio or widescreen, but generally I just have it fit to window screen. And the custom window size, you can obviously change it here. You guys can read that. Zoom, I honestly wouldn't mess with it. I don't want black bars on the edges and I don't want to be zoomed in too much. Disable window resize border, this is all up to you. I don't mind having a resize border. It actually makes it easy for me if I just want to, you know, obviously resize the game right then and there. And always hide mouse cursor. Again, this all relies on you. It just depends on what you want. If you are a type of person who moves your mouse all over the screen and you don't want to see it, then hide it. <laughs> um, the only things that I do have checked though are hide window when paused and double click toggle full screen mode. Speed hacks. Speed hacks are actually something that, once again, depends on the person and actually the game. And I'll go ahead and give you my speed hack speed hack um, settings. I have these set to three, three. Enable INTC spin detection, enable weight loop detection, and MVU flag hack are all on. A problem that I've encountered with this in the game Digital Devil Saga 1 is that it makes the video shake. So once I disable this, the video stopped shaking. This is not the case for all games, so just try it if you want to have the speed hacks in there. It's not cheating or anything, it's just it can help and obviously improve the speed of your games. So just try it out. If it makes your video shaky, uncheck it, don't use it. For the Game Fixes tab, I actually don't have a single thing checked. Okay, we're going to go back to config. I'm not going to go to memory cards because you should already have at least two memory cards if you've installed your BIOS. So we're going to go to plugin, BIOS selector, and this is going to vary from computer to computer. The only thing that I would suggest changing is the GS. And I have mine on GSDX 4600 MVSC 1500 SSE 41, as you can see. But you may not have this. Now, if you do not have this, which one of these do you have and which one of these do you use? The very easy way to find that out is actually looking at the PCSX2 program log, which, you know, boots up whenever you boot up the program. What you want to look at is exactly right here. I have MMX, SSE, SSE2, SSE3, SSSE3, SSE4.1, SSE4.2, and AVX. So the highest that I actually saw on the GS selector was the SSE41. So that's the one that I went with. But um, just go to whichever one is the furthest over this way on yours. Try to get that one because that's going to be the best one for you. The rest of these are actually defaults. Okay, so the next tab that I'm going to go to is the Video GS plugin settings. This depends once again on your computer, what your computer can handle. But the default is direct, not direct, direct 3D9 hardware, I believe. Um, regardless, I still have my interlacing on blend BFF slight blur, one and a half FPS. Um, I don't suggest having original PS2 resolution on. Don't, don't check native because honestly, just to tell you the complete honest truth, it makes the video look like crap. However, some people just have it set to custom 
or you can actually give it native scaling and I have it on six times native. Custom also works for me just fine. Whenever I have it on custom, I have it on 1280 by 720. And um, even on GSDX9, it'll work fine. These are the settings that I used for Direct3D9 hardware. But the one that I actually use is Direct3D11 hardware, Blend BFF, Slight Blur, same thing. And I like to use six times native. These are my settings. So I'm gonna press cancel and go to the audio tab. Um, I'm actually gonna show you which one I normally use. I normally use number four, which is the slowest one that you can have, but it's got the most, it's the sounds that's, that are the closest to the PlayStation 2 sounds. I have latency set all the way over to the left so that I don't experience any audio lag or the least amount of audio lag possible. I have X Audio 2, which was recommended. None of these extra things are actually checked and this is all good, so. I'm gonna press OK on that. The controllers, this is all up to you. I actually use a PlayStation 3 controller whenever I'm playing this and this is my little setup. I'm not gonna go through this because you guys may be using a, you know, a different controller, a 360 controller, a Logitech, it just, you know, any random USB controller or, I mean, you could be using a PlayStation 3, but as long as you know how to set up a, con a controller, you can actually set this up fairly easily. Just click the button and push a button on your controller and that's what it is assigned to. So it's very easy to set up. That's actually um, pretty much it. I don't mess with Dev9, USB, Fireware, Multitap 1, Multitap 2. And those are actually my settings. So I hope that these settings actually helped you. Best of luck getting the best out of PCSX2 for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!